everyone welcome back to the channel my name is Riley if you're new to the channel thank you for joining uh, don't forget to like comment and subscribe on your way out if you've been here for a minute thank you for hanging out uh, you probably know this guy over here Reptar today uh, I'm gonna overhaul this dude's cage fully strip gut disinfect and give him a whole bunch of new dirt and uh, see how much uh, activity we get out of him as a result because it'll be pretty fresh and new so uh, thanks for coming in and watching today's video while we you know hook this dude up and uh, see you soon all right first things first obviously we got to get Reptar out and start getting all the dirt and stuff out all this furniture out before we put the new stuff in so I'll show you what I'm gonna mix together for him later but got these big tubs this one here has got some some lukewarm water in it and this one's ready for the mixing so we're gonna give Reptar a little bit of a bath while we're doing this hopefully he's uh, gonna play nice and stay put and not run around and cause an absolute ruckus in here and make a mess uh, but you know how monitor lizards are they're messy um, so let's get him set up and then we'll start tearing it apart say hello so definitely due for a bath look at us you're a filthy boy all right Not too bad, huh? Have a soak, have a drink, chill out. I'll do the hard work. Good? Great. who do this multiple times a year for multiple animals. This is dirty work. While I'm at it, shout out to all the keepers who pay somebody to do this for them. <laughs> Y'all got it right. <laughs> all right. All the dirt's out. It's time for the shark. Gotta vacuum all of those glass tracks and get the last little bits out before I disinfect. All vacuumed out. I managed to kill the shark in the vacuuming, so that vacuum is toast, but what do you expect from a little infomercial vacuum? Time to disinfect with some Chlorhex, and then I'm gonna mix up all the dirt and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm restocking his substrate with. Two shakes. <laughs> about three bags of this Zoomed Repti soil with one bag, whoop, let me turn that around for you, of the forest floor which is a cypress mulch. And then I'm gonna cross some boundaries, put in some Exoterra rainforest bedding which is essentially like a like a dry bark. And then uh, and I think what I'm gonna do is just mix all that up and shovel it all in. So be right back. Actually, what I'm doing is I'm mixing two batches because I'm pretty sure it'll overflow this bin, but I'm going to put one and a half bags of the Repti soil in, half a bag of each of these other two in, mix it all up and do it in two stages so it's rather evenly distributed. So hopefully that works out. All right, 
all the dirt's out of there and on me and set up in there as you can see bye bye i need to do more work on lighting i just replaced that bulb and the fixture's garbage what do you expect anyway it's time to get all the furniture and stuff back in the big logs and everything like that and we're gonna rearrange it set it up in a new arrangement so his new living situation not only smells different but looks different all right just gotta clean the glass put it all back together and uh should be more or less good to go some uh some final thoughts as i'm wrapping this up is that you know lately i've been talking a lot about uh enrichment and cleaning your animals enclosures and doing a big overhaul and giving them new bedding and taking away familiar cell smells and scents and, and rearranging things is quite enriching for animals especially if they're very curious like monitor lizards so um you know aside from it being good to do for sanitary reasons it's also quite enriching so i imagine once i'm done Reptar is going to be spending quite a bit of time exploring the new layout, digging around. You know, we always talk about monitor lizards and how they like to dig. You know, I'm sure there's plenty of people watching this video who are like, Oh, how could you keep them in a vision cage? You need multiple feet of dirt to dig through. And I'm sure he would love it if he had it. But uh, he does great in this enclosure. Not to mention, he's not one of those big, fat, obese, overfed, you know, five-foot mammoths that you see in the hobby. So... Now be careful before you before you judge. So I'm gonna get this glass cleaned up, put it back on, and you will be seeing Reptar exploring it very soon here. Alright. Big guy's had his long patient soak while he listened and smelled everything that I was doing out here. He's uh he's ready to go home, I think. It's probably the cleanest he'll be for a while. Cause he's about to go ham and all that dirt, huh? <laughs> all right, bud. Home sweet home. Let's take a look. And dirty water. That's monitors for you. You know, I really wish I had good lighting in here. I moved his big, uh, his big cork tube back here, shoved a bunch of other tubes in there, so he's got these like little channels he can go into. Ooh. I don't know if this is helping or making it worse. Anyway, we'll say it helped a little. Squeak it, squeak it. It's making it worse. Anyway, he's gonna go destroy his new clean cage, clean, and it'll be filthy in ten minutes. I'm gonna go clean myself up. Unfortunately, I still have to do all the water cleans in here, so I should have started that first. Anyway, gotta hook up my OG. Dude's gonna be about six this year, or so. He deserves to have some fresh dirt to play around in. It's good enrichment. It's good mental stimulation for him. And uh, it's about overdue for a clean anyway. So uh, not a very crazy exciting video this week. Uh, unfortunately, that's a lot of reptile keeping. It's not a lot of crazy exciting stuff. Um, you know, unboxings are fun and going to check out other facilities is fun. But it's the dirty keeping and cleaning. That's the reality of it. So... If any of you are out here thinking you want to get a monitor lizard, it's dirty work, but it's fun and rewarding if you do it well. So, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't get the crazy following that some of the big hyped up names do because I'm not doing sensationalized stuff and unboxings all the time and spending thousands of dollars. But if you're here watching this, it's probably because you know I like to just kind of keep it real and show you exactly what I do and take care of all the animals. So, um, oh, I did. Uh, have a litter of uh, Arizona striped tail scorpions born. I'll put some footage in right here for you to check that out and some photos. So uh, hopefully next week I'll have some footage uh, to share with all of you of the babies coming off of, of mom and me collecting them and, and that whole process because uh, that'll be pretty sweet. They're so small the camera even has a hard time focusing. So um, 
hopefully I'll get some cool shots of that, but should have some little baby baby scorpions available locally here as well. Uh, that is, if I do it well and they survive and mom doesn't eat them all. So, anyway, uh, thanks for hanging out with me today. I know not a special crazy video, uh, but just some cleaning, hanging out with Reptar. You know, the super glamorous life of reptile keeping. But uh, thank you again for joining me. If you're still here hanging out, don't forget to go sign up for USR, become a member, donate, and help them out because they help us. And, uh, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next week. And tomorrow I start my, uh, my first gig or my first day full-time at GX3. So uh, it's on like Donkey Kong, folks. So stay tuned for some footage of that coming soon. Peace.